This content is for educational purposes only and is not medical advice. The content is provided for reference only and does not claim to be exhaustive or complete. Users should always consult with a qualified and licensed healthcare provider. Reliance on the content is solely at the user's risk. Basic airway device insertion. Oropharyngeal airway, OPA. An oropharyngeal airway should only be inserted when the person is unconscious. A conscious person will not tolerate an OPA and will push it out. If the person resists, gags, or vomits, remove the OPA immediately. Always protect the cervical spine when there is a history of trauma. Wear gloves and eye protection, and if needed, a gown and mask. Gather supplies, oropharyngeal airways, nasal pharyngeal airways in several sizes, and lubricant. Measure the appropriate size of the OPA by measuring from the tip of the earlobe to the corner of the mouth. Open the person's mouth using care not to insert your fingers between the teeth to avoid accidentally being bitten. Insert the OPA with the curved portion sideways and the tip pointing towards the cheek. Push the OPA gently into the mouth and when you can push no further, rotate the OPA 90 degrees so that the tip now points down the throat and follows the curve of the tongue. Push the OPA all the way in if necessary so that the flange, the wide flat end, rests on the person's lips. Be sure that the tip of the OPA does not push the tongue down to obstruct the back of the throat. Nasopharyngeal airway, NPA. Nasopharyngeal airways are better tolerated in people who are semi-conscious or when there is a possibility of gagging with oropharyngeal airways. Do not use an NPA in people with head and facial trauma. Determine the appropriate size NPA to insert. Measure from the base of the nostrils to the earlobe. The diameter of the NPA needs to be smaller than the person's nasal passage. Assess the nasal passage for any obvious airway obstruction. Lubricate the NPA well and insert it into the nostril directing it along the floor of the nose posteriorly towards the throat until the wide, flat portion of the tube rests against the nostril. Do not use an NPA in people with head and facial trauma. Give supplemental oxygen if available.